Hi, I'm Vanessa Valero, and we are here in Orlando, Florida at the Peabody Hotel, and very excited to find out some awesome information about Fabian Morales. Yes. And a great director and a lot of things to share. So, Fabian, where you're from Colombia. Yes, I am. When did you come to America? I came to America when I was about 16 years old, so it's been a while. Um, I first moved to Miami, believe it or not, and uh, from Miami my family decided to move to California. And so that's kind of where I went after, and I did some theater there in California. So that's kind of where I got started. So theater. Yes. That's, so you started out on the other side of the camera, I acting. I did, yes. And so you, it's a passion of yours. It is a passion of mine. Um, I loved uh, being on stage. It was definitely something I enjoyed very much. I had a wonderful opportunity after that to get into some um, TV programs and a couple of things. So I did get started as an actor, but I found my my true passion behind the lens mm -hmm. and just uh, kind of kind of just putting things together um, for production so that's kind of where I stand right now. So did you speak English whenever you came here? I didn't, no, I didn't speak English at all. Um, how I did you just, learn? Uh, you know, through songs. That's kind oh. of how I thought myself, yeah. Um, so that, that was my secret. <laughs> I think everyone has their own. I know my father came here from Chile whenever he was 23 and he knew a little bit but he learned through watching television. Right, so right. I think everybody kind of has their, their thing that they learned through. I think you said you were involved with a program in California. That I was, yes. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, get involved with a, a high school program Actually, it was in high school, it was elementary um, school. And um, what I did was I was looking for a way to make an impact and, and kind of just uh, help other kids. And so when I was 16 years old, I was given the opportunity of directing my very first uh, play. So I put together a program for this school who didn't have any funds for any kind of after school program, but they had a little bit of funds for our program. And we started a program called Fabian's Theater, which still exists today. So I'm very happy about that. And as a matter of fact, someone um, through Facebook about a year ago sent me a message saying, hey, Fabian, just wanted to let you know you inspired me to become a teacher. And I said, I'm sorry, I, who are you? And this, it was, it was a little girl then who stated that I told her to get on stage and, and, and close her eyes and be whatever she could be. And she said she opened her eyes and she was a teacher and she was, you know, she just found the law for that and so that's who she became. So, you know, when you hear those things and you, and you realize that you are able to make an impact in people's lives, you just have to go for that. You have to follow what you believe in. And so I think your real passion is helping people. Uh, that almost is what it sounds like because now you've moved to Florida, you have, you're now in production, you're a director. I know you're working on a lot of films. You have a film coming out in, in June. Yes, in I do, I do. I just got to see the editors, the cut of it, and it was, it was great. And uh, it's Take Me Home. It tell is tell me, me home. about that, and how did that come about? Well, Take Me Home is, is a documentary that features um, the voices of those who through whatever circumstance ended up on the street. And uh, it's a documentary about their lives, their struggles, but it's also a documentary about the people behind um, these people that are helping them. Um, and um, it's e exposing to the world different type of homeless. You know, we were so used to looking at the person who had drug problems or who had alcohol problems, and those were the people that we knew to be homeless. Well, now it's changed. You know, we have families, we have children. Um, just the other day, I met a little boy who was six years old, uh, just walking through the streets of Orlando, and you're, you know, people will say that's impossible. This is the U.S. It just does not happen. Well, this little boy was out there with no help. Of course, he had his family, but his family was in a terrible situation. So this documentary talks about those lives, you know, talks about those people that just don't have a way of speaking out. Um, and it's been an amazing journey for me. I think this documentary will definitely inspire a lot of people. So I hope everybody goes out there and watches it. And, and that being said, I think it's great because I think it also educates the public to know that whenever you think of a homeless person, you think of somebody who abuses drugs or abuses alcohol, and it's so much more than that. I agree. With this economy that's, especially now with the economy that's been hit and so many people losing their homes, it's not just people. It wasn't by choice. They're, yeah. they're, working, they're working Americans. They're people that came here for the American dream like so many did and they, they hit hard times. Right. And so they're real people. They're right. not just there for 
right. for their own decisions. Right. You know, I've met people with two master degrees, people that are so smart, I would look at them and think I should be the homeless one. Yeah. But you know, it's a circumstance. You never know what's going to happen. And some people are not too far off from being on the street. So I think it's important that we tell the story. And I think it's important that we tell the story as it is. You know, as directors, we're all, always looking for those amazing stories. And I was able to find amazing stories that you'd, you would always, you, you would almost say they're fictitious, but they're not, they're real. And they're out on the streets. And my job was really to tell their story the way it was. And so you're humble enough to go out there and to talk to them and not feel bad. And I think that goes to tell people, go out there and speak to them. You right. don't know these people's story. Right. Don't judge a book by its cover, That's right? right? So this you're, you're doing Take Me Home, and now you have My American Dream. I do. Uh, My American Dream is a film that I started working on, I'm going to say about six months ago. And um, it, it's off a, a book called My American Dream, and it talks about the story of a very charismatic woman who was born in Spain, and uh, she was diagnosed with a chronic disease at age 19. She was told she was basically going to live her life uh, sitting in a wheelchair. And this lady took this uh, disease and basically said to herself, no, you're not. And uh, her journey takes her through four countries before she comes to the U.S. and becomes part of the American dream. So it'll be a, a very inspirational um, film. I think, I think with all of the uh, buzz around uh, immigration reform and all of those things and all those topics about uh, immigrants and uh, Latin American people living in the United States, I think this film is going to touch upon those lives. And it's going to uh, really inspire a lot of people to go out there and, and, and be part of, of the American dream, not to give up, you know. And I think that's partially your story too. That is. Being an immigrant coming yes. here and now you're here living the dream, directing yes. films. A lot of people are speaking about your your controversial subjects because you're involved in politics yes. and you have passions that kind of cause a bit of a stir, <laughs> which is a good thing. And So uh, you've heard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, and then you also working on Kanakin's Wake. What What is that? Kanakin's Wake, yes. Kanakin's Wake is, 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 is going to be an awesome documentary. 1971, so it's been a couple of decades, but in 1971, the United States conducted its first and biggest nuclear test. Mm -hmm. uh, the island where I'll have to travel to will be closer to Russia than to Alaska. It's, it's really far. Wow. <laughs> but um, this documentary is going to talk about, uh, you know, how the people that worked on this project, uh, you know, had all these side effects after working on the site. And so this documentary is going to expose what happened four decades ago. It's going to expose um, the bottle that one of the spouses of one of these workers who was there uh, did. And she went through a journey of 25 years to prove that this group of people that worked in this site literally had, uh, you know, side effects from the nuclear testing. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited. You know, an organization called uh, Greenpeace is involved in this. So it's going to be a, a documentary that the world will definitely look at and will think twice about nuclear tests or nuclear weapons for sure. And so it sounds like with you have different projects going on, they all kind of have a different basis. What is your driving passion to continue to do this? What really inspires you every day to get out and to continue to make movies? You know, I think the one thing that inspires me the most is, is, is knowing that I am following my dreams. And I think that um, it's important that I speak of this because I used to be the person that used to think um, that it was not impossible, that it was very hard. And, um, and, and at a certain point in my life, I listened to that little voice, and that's why I took a break. But now that I came back, I feel that my determination and my own inspiration in my life, when I look back and I see what I've been able to accomplish, is really what keeps me going every day. And um, my ability to, to want to inspire other people. I'm always talking about how important it is to, to walk through life, inspiring people to become their best, because that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to say to the world, I'm here, I'm little, but I can do this. And I love doing it. And I think that if other people can listen to what I'm doing, and can listen to my testimony and go out there and do it, you know, they'll, they'll realize that when they least expect it, they'll be out here doing this and, and they'll say, wow, he, he, was, he was right. You know, you, we hear these all the time when people yeah. go to the Grammys, the Oscars, and they, they get up there and they say, you know, because I believed in myself and because I um, never gave up. And you listen to those words, but it's one thing to listen to them and it's another thing to actually 
say them to yourself. And to believe them. And to believe them. So I think it's very important that we take a minute to believe in ourselves, mm -hmm. because the minute we do, there's nothing that can stop us. So if there's a person out there that has the aspiration to to be a director, or to, to come to America, or to really take a leap of faith and maybe leave family and come and chase a dream, what would be your word of encouragement to them? I would, I would, you know, I would tell them to think, um, to think of themselves uh, as being unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Because when you think that, you have no limits and you put no limits in yourself. And I think it's so important that we um, just come to that realization and that we make it happen. Mm -hmm. So I think, I, I think I would just tell them that, you know, think of yourself as somebody that nobody can stop. Regardless of how many doors closes in front of you, you keep going and you keep going. Whenever and you put a goal in mind and if you don't, if you don't put a goal, you don't put a deadline, you're never going to reach it, right? That's right. So, everybody's heard no a million times the most successful people all their stories are parallel everybody told them no along the right, way and then right. that one time exactly and I ready. myself heard no many times when I spoke of, of of me being what I wanted to be many people would tell me it's impossible go go do something a little more conventional mm -hmm. whatever but I think that um, you have to have the determination and you have to set the goals for yourself. And once you do, no matter who tells you no, it's just, you're just not gonna hear them, mm -hmm. you're not. So I think it's important that we believe in ourselves. Going back to that, you know, if you believe you can do it, you'll do it, exactly. regardless of what happens. Well, that was Fabian, you're doing so many great things. Thank you for all you're doing to help people. To, to really get messages out there that people need to hear. I know that people will love to see your movie in June, coming out in theaters, take me home, make sure to go watch it. It's I saw the director's cut, I can't wait to see the full film. So Great. thank you so much. And if people out there wanna, wanna find us, we're on Facebook, so uh, take me home. Or you can find me, Fabian Morales, or I'm also on Twitter, Fabian Morales. So just follow us and we will get you to the theaters. Wonderful. <laughs>